What's up guys, Gary with self.dev. Today we are going to go over some CSS battles, number one, two, and three. They look pretty easy. Um, I can pretty easily visualize how we're going to do each one of these in my head, but hey, maybe we'll run into some bugs that'll make these a little bit more challenging. So let's go. Challenge number one here. Um, we just got a, this color, I guess that's like a brownish color background and then a green square. So the way CSS battles works, your score is based on how long your solution is so if you want to get the like the most high score you can you need to like inline your css um on some of the challenges uh or at least this one but we're not gonna worry about that we're just gonna kind of like go for just completing these challenges so the div is our square uh let's go ahead and select the body and we'll say background is equal to that brownish color and then let's grab this greenish one here and make our square that greenish color now we just need to worry about the size so there's this plugin called dimensions that you can use if you click on it it lets you measure the space between stuff on your screen it basically grabs a snapshot of your screen and then it uses the difference in colors to detect where edges are so if we look at this square here we can see it's 200 pixels by 200 pixels so let's go ahead and change our width and height on this square to 200 by 200. excellent so now we just need to remove that extra bit of space around our square on the top and the left um, so maybe does the square have margin on it no does the body have margin on it it does sweet all right and i think that's it so if we um the right side of this is the actual solution and then the left side is our solution so it looks like ours matches up pretty perfect we're gonna go ahead and submit this and see what it says and we got 100 percent on this one sweet so let's go ahead and go on to challenge two and they do have a lot of challenges here um it looks like each one of these like uh, pilot battle has 12 challenges in itself um and then they've let's see does christmas christmas has oh there's like 100 challenges okay cool yeah that's a pretty decent number of challenges all right sweet but let's go on to number two here so on this one we start off with the same base white background and then a square on um, this one we're going to have one two three four squares and then we're going to grab this background color and then same as last time we're just going to say body background is equal to that and then we're gonna need four squares right so we'll say four different divs and let's not have spaces between those so how big are these squares so they're 50 by 50 pixels so we can go ahead and adjust that to 50 by 50 and then let's get that yellow color and throw that yellow color here on the background cool so now we have our four squares now we just need to get them in the right places um the, my first thought on how to do this is just absolutely position the squares and then have like top left right and bottom for the classes so we're going to go that way um, so we'll just add class equals um, we'll say top left and then we'll copy this and then just paste this in each one of these and this will be top right and this will be bottom left and bottom right cool and then we'll also need to position absolute these and then we'll just have four more classes left top and then how far away are those from the edges is it 50 pixels on the sides on the right too sweet so they're 50 pixels away from the borders there um, so we'll just say here we'll say top um, 50 pixels and then we'll say right and we'll say right 50 pixels and we'll say left left 50 pixels and bottom is going to be bottom 50 pixels and uh, we're going to delete this comment stuff down at the bottom because like we said that takes up extra space um and why are these not absolute oh we forgot the semicolon thing here did that fix it no position all right uh let's inspect this then and see what i'm missing here um, in our iframe we'll go in the document and the html in the body and then just grab this and our oh we forgot the oh duh, the selectors before these there we go all right cool so now it looks the same as our target there so let's go ahead and submit this one too and i got a little bit higher score than the last time sweet uh, all right so on to challenge number three so let's delete all that so we can start over um, i tried to do this stuff already but my mouse broke at the end of the video so i had to restart the video but 
Um, I didn't get to finish this one yet. So we've got our white background and the square. So in this one, um, we've got the background. We've got basically what? One, two, three, four, four layers on this, right? Or five maybe. We've got the background, which is that light blue color. We've got the rectangle, which is this square here. We're gonna have a, a light blue circle on top of that. We're gonna have a dark blue circle on top of that. And then we're gonna have a yellow circle on top of all of that. So we're gonna need what, four? Wait, right, one, two, three, four divs, because the background is there, so we don't have to worry about touching that. Uh, let's grab that, and then two, three, four. And then our div, um, is there anything in common between all of these elements? I don't think there is, so I don't think we're gonna need to target div on that. Um, but we do need to grab the body, and we'll say body background is equal to that color. Uh, I'm just in a habit of pressing control S to save after I make changes. Uh, and then we need to do this bl uh, dark blue square. So let's add classes to these. So this is going to be the dark blue square. Um, so we'll say dark blue, dark blue. And then this is going to be, I would say box because that's the only one that We'll, yeah, we'll say box on that. Uh, we'll say class, and this is going to be circle light blue. And then we'll copy that because all of these other three are going to have the class circle. Uh, whoops, what did I do there? Oh, we removed the V. Okay, boom. And then that. And then this is going to be circle large, medium, and small. And then this one's going to be yellow. And then this one's just going to be the dark blue color. Cool, so we got the divs and everything we need there. Um, let's go ahead and um, say dark blue is going to have this dark blue color for a background. We're gonna say light blue is going to have, and we're, we can just add this on to the body here because it's going to be the same background color, so we don't actually don't even need that light blue color. Or, yeah, we do need that light blue class. Um, and then add the dots so we can select those. Cool. Um, and then what else do we need? We need a yellow for the yellow background, except we want to use this E, E, B, whatever. Cool. So we got that. Um, why are none of these showing up, though? Dark blue, dark dash blue class equals that. Uh, we're gonna inspect this again because I would have expected at least the background colors to show up, right? Um, HTML, body, our dark blue div. It does have that. Oh, right, because we don't have any like width or height on those. How are we gonna measure? Because this is broken, so we can't get the whole width of that rectangle. But if we get the sides here, so that's 50 pixels, 50, and this is uh, 400 all the way across. So that square is gonna be, um, what, 300 pixels wide. Uh, so we'll say box width 300 pixels. And then the height on it, uh, we're gonna grab, that's 75, bottom's 75, right? So that's like, what, 150. The height is gonna be 250, right? And box and dark blue. So, and then we also need to add that dot there, duh. Um, so that looks like my math might have been off on the height, maybe, right? Mm, is it 150? Yeah, it looks more, right, with height, right, because we were supposed to subtract from 300, not 400. But then we need this to be in the... If I just display flex, and then I think everything will be centered perfectly, so I don't need to absolutely position or, like, move anything, really. Um, so now we'll say circle... Um, Border radius is going to be, is it 50%? Is that what does the circle on it? Uh, we'll see. This large one, how do we get the size of that? I guess more math, right? So that's 25 pixels and 50. So this, the, this circle width is going to be um, 250, right? And that's the, what do we say, the large? So we'll say dot large um, width is going to be 250 pixels. And does that square have large on it? Why is that square moving? Oh, anyway. Um, and then the height, we'll just say 300 pixels just to see how it goes. Should our box still be in the same place? Wait, what? Uh, document, HTML, body. 
So we got dark blue. Oh, right. I do need to absolute position some of that stuff because Flex is going to try and lay those out in a row. So circles, um, we'll say position absolute. Cool. Um, that doesn't look... Is that right? Yeah, I guess that's the right width. That looks something. Okay, let's look at this right here. Yep, I guess that's, well, maybe my border radius is off a little bit. That that could be it. Yeah, that could be it. Uh, let's inspect this and then grab that circle again. And then the border radius. We make this more. Does that make it more pronounced? No. Is it... Yeah, if, is it, what if we do like 500 pixels? What does that do? What about 10,000 pixels? No? Okay, cool. So we want 50% for the border radius. Um, is the, if we make the width less, does that adjust it? Um, that's gonna, huh. I don't know how to make, well, I guess that should be, oh, it's, is it the height, right? That's what we can adjust. Okay, gotcha. So is it gonna be 250 by 250? Yeah, because the circle is basically a square. Um, just with border radius, right? Yeah, so 250 by 250. So let's make that 250 pixels um, And then we need to do the medium circle uh, So we'll say mead and then this width is gonna be what? So we've got the 50 pixels plus 25 plus 50 so that's well, 125 on each side which is 225 right um, Or actually that's 50 that's 50 that's 50. Yeah, so this should be width 150 and then height is going to be 150 pixels as well sweet and then that's just 50 by 50 so we'll say small width 50 pixels uh height 50 pixels and then i spelled width wrong and then boom shabam um does that look the same i think so i don't see anything different on there is there any way we can simplify this or improve our css probably a lot of ways but we're already almost 15 minutes into this video. So we're just gonna submit this and see how we do. 100%, awesome, Three, uh, 600 points, cool. So that was the first three challenges on um, CSS battle.dev. I'll have the link to that site in the description if you need to go check it out. If you beat my scores, feel free to come hop in the Discord and post your solutions. Just give me like a screen grab showing your code and your score to show me you got a higher score and I'll give you like a thumbs up. Um, Discord link is in the description if you can, if you want to come hop in there. Um, if you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, anything like that, leave those down below. If you want to get my resume template, the one I used when I was trying to become a developer before I had any tech experience when I was still working in finance, um, look in the description of a link to where you can get that resume template as well and make sure you hit that thumbs up button so you, youtube knows i'm putting out good stuff if you enjoyed this and uh, also to let me know if that you did enjoy this and i will probably do more like this then uh hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on what we're putting out and i will see you next time peace round one